by a course specialist, Twin Oaks number one, four times course winner, winner of the corresponding race last year under a different title, ridden by Neil Doughty. Two is Tareen Prince, ridden by Declan Murphy. Three, Kildimo, ridden by Luke Harvey. Four is Southern Minstrel, Chris Grant. Five, Eshaness, with Mark Pittman putting up one pound overweight. Six, Kilbannon, Brendan Powell. Seven, the Legget, Peter Scudamore, another course winner, the Legget, like Southern Minstrel too. Eight is Decided, um, written by William McFarland. And nine is Grand Value, on uh, which Jamie Railton is putting up two pound overweight. The going, incidentally, officially good after plenty of overnight rain, and the betting as follows. With Ishanes on top of the betting, nine to four, and Southern Minstrel, second favorite, seven to two. Twin Oaks, four to one. Uh, Kilbannon is 11 to 2, the same price as the Leggett. And then there's a big gap to decided on 12 to 1, uh, but that's come in from 16 to 1. Uh, you please notice because it's, uh, but it is early days and you never know how things will eventuate. But 16 to 1 to 12 to 1 on decided. Turin Prince and uh, Kildimo 20 to 1. Grand value is 66 to 1. Fences to jump in this uh, three mile Mitsubishi Shogun Trophy. And Turin Prince on the inside of Twin Oaks with Kill Bannon on the far side of that trio. And comes Kill Dymo, not usually up there to that extent at this stage of the race, just on the outside of Eshaness being followed by Grand Value as they make their way now to the first of the 18 fences. Turin Prince on the outside, Kill Bannon and Twin Oaks between horses as they come to it. Turin Prince. Lands in the lead from Twin Oaks and Kilbannon. They're all safely over it. Decided just a little bit uh, deliberate at it. Twin Oaks and Turian Prince from Kilbannon. Grand Value, Eshaness, and then Kildimo. Behind Kildimo, Southern Minstrel then decided. And last is the Leggett. Going a good gallop as they come to the third. Twin Oaks and Turian Prince and Kilbannon, the three leaders from Kildimo on the outside, Grand Value on the inner Escher next, next, and then Southern Minstrel decided and uh, the Leggett. The fourth with Turian Prince on the inside, Kilbannon on the far side. Between horses, Twin Oaks, the Leggett lost a little bit of ground at that one, and now coming to the first of the ditches. Turian Prince, nearest to us. Twin Oaks in the center of the fence and Kilbannon over on the far side. The Leggett jumped a little bit right-handed there in last place. The leaders begin to swing now around this long looping turn towards the home straight with Turian Prince and Twin Oaks disputing it ahead of Kilbannon and Eshaness and behind them come Kildimo and Grand Value and Southern Minstrel and then decided getting closer and the Leggett the back marker of the nine runners as they come towards the next. Turian Prince over on the far side. Twin Oaks right up with him and Kilbannon towards the near side. These three have been keeping very close company throughout so far. Coming down towards the seventh. Turin Prince, Twin Oaks, the course specialist, Kilbannon, Kildimo just in behind them. Decided has made ground, upsides Eshaness, then Southern Minstrel, Grand Value, the Leggett, the back marker. This is number eight. The next will be the second of the ditches. Turin Prince, Twin Oaks, and Kilbannon still. Kilbannon, a slight mistake there, but uh, gets away with it all right. Southern Minstrel's moved up a little bit. Kildimo over on the far side, Eshaness, decided. Grand Value and the Leggett. A ditch now, Turin Prince. Twin Oaks and Kilbannon, Eshaness and Kildimo and Southern Minstrel have decided at Grand Value. And you'll note that Peter Scudamore's taken the Leggett over to the far side, so try and inhibit him running out at this stable turn, as he did at Chepstow, and they're all safely over the water. And it's Turin Prince from Twin Oaks with Eshaness on the inside of Kilbannon, then Southern Minstrel. Kildimo on the outside and then decided. And then the Leggett, no thought apparently of running out. He's got Grand Value just towards his outside. So all still standing as they go out in the country for another complete circuit in this Mitsubishi Shogun Trophy and as they do so it's still Turin Prince and Twin Oaks from Kilbannon a close close up with Eshaness behind them then Southern Minstrel decided and Kildimo 
number 11 this Turin Prince and Twin Oaks together from S&S and Southern Minstrel Kilbannon loses a little ground decided on the inner then Kildimo and then the Leggett number 12 and the course specialist disputing it all the time Twin Oaks with Turin Prince Southern Minstrel in third S&S four Kilbannon Kildimo and then decided over the 13th, Twin Oaks lands a definite leader there from Turin Prince, Southern Minstrel, Eshenes and Kildimo and Decided and Kilbannon, five from home and Twin Oaks who won four races in a row here last season with quite a commanding advantage as he comes to this final ditch now, four from home, right over on the far side, Twin Oaks lands clear being called at evens by the bookmakers now as uh, Neil Dowdy looks over his right shoulder sees Turin Prince as the nearest pursuer Southern Minstrels moved into third and four S&S five killed Dymo and six decided seven killed Bannon and eight the Leggett and Twin Oaks the top weight giving lumps of weight away bidding for his 11th victory in his 26th run and being pressed all the time by Turin Prince and Southern Minstrel Eshenes comes next followed by Kildimo and decided as they race down towards the next the third last Twin Oaks comes to it and jumps it ahead of Turin Prince who's been giving him a race throughout Southern Minstrel is under pressure now Kildimo has moved into fourth place, coming down to the second last. And this amazing course specialist, Twin Oaks, under 12 stone, comes to it clear. Twin Oaks lands clear of Turin Prince second, Southern Minstrel third, Kildimo four. Coming down to the final fence now in the Mitsubishi Shogun Trophy, and Twin Oaks is well clear of Turin Prince and Kildimo moving into third. Twin Oaks looking as though he only has to jump it. He has a look at it, it jumps it cleanly, gets away from it fast. Turin Prince jumps it next, and then Kildimo putting in a run with Southern Minstrel. But Twin Oaks has this well sewn up. Neil Dowdy's 29th winner of the season, number 39 for Gordon Richards as Twin Oaks, the four times course winner makes it five triumphs here at Haydock as he strides up to the line a fine performance at the top weight of 12 stone it's a real race for the minor honors Twin Oaks the winner it's going to be close for second Turin Prince just holds, uh, holds on to second ahead of kill Dymo third and four Southern Minstrel five and six kill Bannon and decided and then comes Eshenes and uh, those being followed at a very, very respectful distance by the Leggett. So, the result of the Mitsubishi Shogun Trophy. First, number one, Twin Oaks, 11 to two, owned by Mr. John Morton, trained by Gordon W. Richards and written by Neil Doughty. Second, number two, Turin Prince, owned by Mr. Paul Stamp, trained by Miss Henrietta Knight and written by Declan Murphy. And third, number three, Kildimo, Owned by Lady Harris, trained by Mrs. Sue Smith, and written by Luke Harvey. Fourth was number four, Southern.